here in the household of Ryan and Maite. And we are going to learn how to make a Spanish soup from the south of Spain. Maite is from Spain, so she's going to tell us about her culture. We're going to learn a lot today. I'm really excited. And then Ryan grew up here in Austin. So it's just a mix of cultures, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Yeah, great. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to do uh, a soup that is called salmorejo. It's well more known, another cold soup from the south of Spain that is called gazpacho. Then as we go, I guess I will say like the differences between the two of them, but that's what we're doing, salmorejo. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know gazpacho. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. So it has a bunch of tomatoes, um, olive oil, um, and bread. And a little bit of garlic. Garlic is optional now, but we're going to put the garlic on because, I mean, Spain we love is garlic. 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 Yes. yes. So, <laughs> So that's a very simple recipe, like I, maybe I'll become more of a tasty Korean because yeah. I'm not the great cooker of all. <laughs> so it's very simple for everyone to be able to yeah. do it, so yeah. Awesome. And then yeah. tell us a little about your background and when you came to Texas and all that. So I think that the first time that I came to Texas, it was like, what, six, seven years ago? Seven, like, yeah, this point probably. Yeah, when we met, we met in California uh, doing uh, yoga teacher training. And we travel all around the world teaching yoga, and then we moved to Spain for five years, more or less. And we moved here two years ago, more or less. Well, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy to have you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll go ahead and let y'all get started. Okay. I mean, when was the first time that you had some Oh uh, Yeah, probably five years ago. That was delicious. Yeah, it's a really common, like, kind of summary kind of thing, especially what happened in South of Spain. Mm -hmm. And it's really delicious. It's a lot better in gazpacho. So. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> it's from South of Spain, just in case someone from Spain is watching. Like, let's give credit to who invented it, and it's from Cordoba. Cordoba, Andalucía, South of Spain. So, thank you so much for your gift to the world. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start just dicing the tomatoes. Very simple. And I think that this is very appropriate for the months that are ahead in Texas because uh, it's cold, it's served cold. And I mean, sometimes I cannot take the hot summers here in Texas, so <laughs> some more for it's gonna have like, here, right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> An alternative for the toppings, <laughs> since we're here in Texas, uh, it could be brisket. Oh, because like, it goes well with yeah, because yeah. like last week we were doing this recipe as well, and um, we said like, hey, there's brisket in the house. Why don't put us a top in brisket instead of uh, jamón serrano? It was delicious because brisket is delicious. So, <laughs> so this is also just following the recipe, but like, as anything, if you want to make it like really thick, you put more bread. If you want to put it like, want to make it thinner, like kind of more gazpacho like. Then that's it. Cut it in small pieces and that's it. And you're gonna, do, yeah. So, what do we do next? <laughs> well, <laughs> we're just gonna blend the, the cut up tomatoes. <laughs> Ooh, so so tense, you're it's so tense. Tense. <laughs> Right? Most important instruction is to start the blender on low to not have it a big explosion. <laughs> All right. You ready? Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So at this point, we're just straining out the peels and the edges and the seeds, the tomatoes, getting all that stuff out. So it does take a few seconds for it all to kind of come through, and that's why she's also pushing through it uh, to help kind of have the liquid and everything go through a little easier. You go next. We just came from the gym, and I'm <laughs> Okay, so we've blended the tomatoes and mm -hmm. strained it in the bowl, mm -hmm. and so now we have the garlic and the olive oil and the bread mm -hmm. left over. So what do we do next? So what we're gonna do next is pour um, the tomatoes again, and then we'll put the bread and let it soak for 10 minutes there. Uh, so if you happen to have a uh, uh, bread that is not as soft as this one, it will like soften and it will be easier, mm -hmm. and so that's what we're gonna do anyways. So that's that, that's next, and then we'll just cut the garlic, put the olive oil, blend it again, and that'll be it. Blend it for a third time? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fun! Oh, Let's do it! Second one. Can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. 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 And so in the meantime, I start like hanging the 
the garlic. So. The three most important ingredients in Spain. Garlic, olive oil, and salt. So of course we're gonna have a lot of salt. Yeah, you can put as much salt as you want. While we wait the 10 minutes while this soaks in, like we just cut the the garlic and we're just gonna go start with the toppings. Uh, as I said, this is optional. This is hard boiled egg and then we'll take care of the jamón serrano. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> so for our summer, we're actually gonna be using the best olive oil in the world. You don't have to, there's a lot of good olive oils out there, but if you have the chance, definitely would recommend buying Dominus. It's amazing. So once everything in, it's in literally every ingredient of the recipe. <laughs> so what it will be next is put this, so we serve it cold, and this is not gonna be cold right now, right? But like, we will put it in the fridge for two hours, and then we'll put the toppings um, when we present it. So next step, two hours in the fridge. <laughs> Yay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's very creamy. It's so creamy. <laughs> Ooh, kind of looks like tomato bisque or something. <laughs> Yum. Some topics for cooking. So you have, you have a little bit of boiled egg and then mm -hmm. copa or jamón serrano. Yeah, jamón <laughs> serrano. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So yeah. kind of like yeah. prosciutto, but better. <laughs> well, if anyone is watching, I don't want to say it's better. It's just like jamón serrano in, in jamón Spain. Serrano. And <laughs> is it because it's kind of spicy? Or no. No, serrano is like also like a synonym for ibérico. And ibérico oh, yeah. means from the peninsula. From oh. Ibérico. Like, that's all Portugal and, and España. So, yeah, and like if you want to see it's it. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Que aproveche. Let's eat. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, so good. It's so fresh like it. and light and the perfect, like you said, it's the perfect summer soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think of a soup as, you know, something I want in the heat, in the Texas <laughs> heat, but since it's chilled and it's so refreshing, it's just the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. And you can stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys! Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming back. Yeah. <laughs> good, that's just how you know you're good. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So I have something for you. Okay. <laughs> you are officially a tech security. Yay! Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Oh yeah. Yay! Oh, you'll do the honor. So I'm yeah. gonna keep eating. Okay. No, 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 no. You got a lot here. Like, wait, wait, like, show that boy. That. Awesome. <laughs> that you have to make show, show. You do whatever you want to keep it. Show, show. <laughs>